Now, allowing security to a network is one thing, but enforcing security on a network is something else. We're going to be talking about the different mechanisms that we can use that will allow us to secure our networks, but we still must be concerned about configuring them and using them the right way to enforce the security. Let's talk about virtual private networks. Now, a virtual private network allows us to connect from a remote location into a network, and it looks as though we have a private connection directly in. It is a communication tunnel that provides point-to-point -point transmission and authentication of data. Now, a tunnel is kind of like a communication mechanism that we use every single day. If you want to mail a letter to someone else, let's say you want to send a birthday card to someone, you go and you buy two pieces of paper products. You buy the card and you buy the envelope. Now, why do you buy the envelope? The envelope is there to wrap up the contents so that you can put that $20 bill inside the card and then both of those go in the envelope and you seal the envelope. Then you address the envelope and send it on its way. No one really knows what's inside. They can tell where the letter's going, but they don't know what the contents are. That's effectively a tunneling technique. You use an encapsulation mechanism that puts a message inside another packet so that generally users can't see in the packet, but they know where it's going. So VPNs give us the ability to provide a tunnel, point-to-point -point tunnel, so that you can pretend like the network you're using to connect to your corporate network is private, when in fact it very well may be the Internet. Now, most people implement VPNs with secure transmissions. Normally, they will use encryption to force or to ensure secure transmission. It's not necessary. You can use a VPN with no encryption, but that's the reason most people use it. It can be used to connect either two independent systems or two networks. The protocols that commonly make up VPNs can operate in one of two different modes to support the two different system or network connections. One of the most compelling reasons to use a VPN is that it offers a very inexpensive secure communication mechanism using existing networks. In fact, the most common VPN implementation is to set up this virtual private network connection or this virtual connection between a remote computer and a corporate computer using the internet as a transmission channels.